Hello, I'm Teresa Payton. I'm the CEO of Fortalist Solutions, former White House Chief Information Officer, and welcome to this weekly Cybercrime Magazine installment. Today I'm going to talk to you about something not easy to talk about, especially as a parent, and that is we had a missing young woman's case not too far from me. I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina, down the road in Columbia, South Carolina, and that young student lost her life. What I want to talk to you about today is the responsibility and duty of care the cybersecurity community has to help people understand there are actually things you can do before somebody goes missing that can aid you in the event that your loved one is in trouble, whether they're an adult or a child. For starters, it's not spying, it's not snooping. Everyone should understand how to get into somebody else's cloud account in the event that somebody's in trouble. You can use something like LastPass Premium or LastPass, the free family app, to actually manage those passwords, let people kind of own their passwords, but in the event of something that goes wrong, to be able to get into their accounts. Next, have a code that all of you know, that if somebody texts you or calls you or leaves you a message or emails you and uses that code word, that you know that they're in trouble and they've been abducted. I also use that same code word with my kids if I know they're out somewhere and they're suddenly uncomfortable, they just text me a code word, I can go pick them up. And that's what that word means for us. Be thinking about in those moments where somebody is missing, those first minutes are so important. First of all, using a tracking app like Find My Phone or some of the free apps. I personally use a paid app called Life 360. I know where my parents, my sister and her family, and where my kids are at at all times and I know the speed at which they're traveling which can tell me a lot about whether or not they're on foot or in a vehicle. Lastly, those minutes matter. If you have somebody who's even in their 20s, not only do you call 911 and report them and what they were wearing, make sure you have current pictures of everybody, but the other thing is go to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. They have free resources and tools and they can help aid and assist law enforcement. Lastly, be flipping their actual social media pages into missing persons pages. Give them a clear way to give you tips and be thinking about actually setting up on all social media accounts the fact that your loved one is missing and looking for clues. Provide as much information as possible. My thoughts and prayers go to the victim, her family and friends, and I hope by sharing some of these tips that this can help you think about what to do proactively. I hope you never need these tips. Please make sure that everyone in your community knows these tips, and I'll be sharing additional information with Cybercrime Magazine that they can push out on this issue. Thank you, and we'll talk again next week.